What's up guys, Inigami here. Let's go through 30 stamina, Kami, Kami, I don't know, Kami, Kami, Fortnite Island. We're gonna be using a double Ashura Zoro free to play team. Other teams that work well against this island are heavy int characters, or mostly heavy dex characters. Um, the condition for this island, of course, is that you cannot bring characters that cost over 50. So no raid bosses, no six star characters, unless you have them unevolved. But one of the easier teams is uh, either a double Law or double Zoro or Law Zoro team because Kami will be a side character. Hey! Right off the stage. Oh, you know, that's not secret stage Papoog. That's just regular Papoog. Uh, Papoog is the secret stage. I thought we got him right away, but that's just a regular one. Uh, so, with Kami... On stage 6, we're gonna get Hachan. Hachan is a Psy character. He has 500,000 health and attacks every single turn. He'll, he can be stalled with Golden Pound Usopp, so you can use him there. And if you're having a hard time with him, you might want to do that. Whatever you do, do not get Hachan below 20% health. If you get Hachan below 20% health, he will blind your entire team for 6... No, 9 turns. Um, we're uh, on our team. Perona is especially useful because there are three different versions of the Kami Fortnite of the Kami Fortnite boss. I'm gonna call her Kami because I think her name is Kami, not Kami. Uh, people keep telling me they're different. Uh, which way her name is supposed to be pronounced? I'm gonna go with Kami because that just makes more sense. So Kami's boss stage has three different versions. There's either her plus one large mob. Her plus three medium mobs, or her plus five small mobs. The large mob will grant her debuff protection, so you can't use Golden Pound Usopp or anything like that to stall her, you'll just have to kill her. Uh, the three version gives you boosted strength orb rate, so if you have a Zeph especially, very useful on the three orb version, I mean the three minion version. And then the five minion version has. Um, the 5 minion version has very, very high defense, but very low health. So if you get the 5 minion version, Perona works great against that. You cannot use the Thousand Sunny to kill uh, the units around Kami on the any of the versions. And the Thousand Sunny only does 1 damage to the 5 characters, so you can't use Thousand Sunny to kill the 5 characters. But you can use Thousand Sunny to put a good dent in the 3 man and the 1 man version of Kami. Having Zeph and Khalifa is also a very nice combo. You can use Zeph and Khalifa together to guarantee that you'll get full dex orbs. You can't bring a Doflamingo. This is one of the very, 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 very few times, in fact, one of the only times that Bellamy is actually better than Doflamingo just because you can't bring Doflamingo to this island. So you could bring a Bellamy to boost your orbs after your Khalifa and your Zeph give you full dex orbs. Well, hello, Hachan. We're gonna be saving Perona just in case we get the long, the five-man version of Kami. And with all our health, it's really nothing that we have to worry about with Hachan. Hachan doesn't hit very hard. Boom, 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 boom. Just 2,600 damage. And every two turns, he will shuffle all your orbs and give you Psy, Food, and Bother orbs. So you can't get Bother orbs here. I didn't get Bother orbs. Uh, if you're using a heavy int team. Having a Tao Nami is very useful, or having a Tao Nami lead is very useful. So that way, when Hachan gives you all Psy Orbs, you can use Tao Nami and get yourself all Int Orbs. Very useful indeed. As far as how useful the characters go, Kami herself isn't really useful at all. You won't really, she won't really see much action, if any action. Hachan is slightly useful in that he's one of the very few Psy Slashers that exist on Global. Uh, I think I'm just gonna try to, I think I'll just let myself get blinded here. Uh, I could take the turn and try to get, eh, we'll just, we'll try to get better orbs. Attack him next turn. So once again, that's every two turns that he does his shuffle, so you'll get one turn to actually use your better orbs. Yeah, some decent orbs there. Could be better. Could be worse. If you're using a Zoro team against Hachan, it's not too bad if you get blinded. But blinding in general isn't bad, just pretend like you're fighting Absalom, right? 
So we got Cami plus one. So Cami plus one. She will put well. They uh, the guy in the back will give her. Oh, she gets her debuff protection. I thought the guy in the back gave it. It doesn't really matter. Same same thing in, at the end. Uh, we're going to use Khalifa, who will give us all Dex or Strength orbs with Zeph together. That gives you full Dex orbs. And Double Finger gives you 1.5 times attack for all your characters, giving you lots of damage. No matter what version of Cami you get, you always want to kill the guys behind Cami before you kill Cami herself. The all the fodder units around Cami are much more dangerous. All Cami does is she has 350,000 health, so she actually even has less health than Hotchan does, and she will heal for five th uh, 50,000 damage, then 2.5, then attack for 2.5k every two turns. So she doesn't even hit that hard. She actually hits weaker than Hotchan does. So if you're having a hard time on this island, Hotchan might be the stage that's giving you all the trouble. You get past him. You should do pretty okay. I'm actually going to switch to Cammy right here so I can kill her in this attack. And then take our time killing out the dude in the back. But depending on which version of Cammy you get, you gotta be ready for it. You don't want to bring a version that isn't very good against three medium characters. You don't want to bring someone who can't get past five characters at once. Remember that if you do get the three character version that they give you boosted strength orbs, so Zeph is extra special there. You can use Zeph to give yourself almost full dex orbs. If you get the five-man version, you can use someone who poisons or someone who does exact damage, such as Diablo Sanji or Perona or Dawn Krieg or anything like that to do enough damage to just, or just use poison damage to get past their armor. We got a text message. I'm in Zinigami. Get your Rayleigh skill books, get your uh, Apu skill books, get your Namuel skill books, get Shura skill books, and Dex Hotchan, sort of, maybe? I've been Zinigami. Good luck. Y'all stay beautiful.